Hi everyone, this is Natasha here. Uh, I'm today here at the wedding school's handle and uh, uh, the topic for today is uh, what our TWS tribe has been up to, what have they been doing. We had one of these sessions before, so yeah, hoping for another one and uh, let's for, wait for everyone to join in meanwhile. I'll just add Marisha Parikh. Hi. Okay, here she is. Hi, ma'am. How are you, Natasha? All good, ma'am. How are you doing? <laughs> this is absolutely a uh, weird feeling. I'm sure on the other side too. <laughs> Same here, totally. <laughs> so, yes, here we are dis uh, discussing about the wedding school. It's an awkward feeling because uh, we all know how TWS started. I've seen it from the process of planning to having the first batch to now the fifth batch. We're going online now. And yeah, and now actively working as uh, one of the members of, of the backend. It's, it's a great feeling. So starting with a great, great thank you for the opportunities uh, that you bring to us all the time. Be as a Swaha member or as a TWS member or as a mentor in our personal lives. So yeah. How sweet. Uh, I think, uh, Natasha, you are getting exactly, uh, you know, the kind of work that you deserve and the kind of work you are actually doing a lot of justice to. So I, I, I would wish that everyone who's watching this and will watch it later as well, once it's up on Facebook, that uh, a young mind can actually should not uh, define themselves with their age uh, and you are the perfect example of, of that kind of a journey you know you've just not allowed yourself to wait for the age factor to come in what what normally people will wait for and be excusing themselves you're just out there and and you're very boisterous and you're just wanting to make sure you make your mark uh, before uh, the time is up. So uh, that's something I really look up to as well, Natasha. You make me very proud, really. Thank you, ma'am. I think you make me very proud. <laughs> and going live here, it's even a better feeling while I listen this from, coming this from you. Yeah, so, that's a, I didn't get on the call with you for that reason because I thought if I'll call you and I'll ask you to do this for us, uh, you might just have a story to tell me. That's why I was like, Chalo, ye. <laughs> I was trying to avoid this, but then I think uh, let's go for it is our attitude. So, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Absolutely. Natasha, when did you come to Mumbai? Which year was that? I, I think this was six and a half years back. It was 2014 is, uh, yeah, when I, when I came to Mumbai. So I think after after I did my 12th is uh, when I joined, I came to Mumbai and I joined an AMD and I was doing a graduation course there. So which yeah. was the beach event management uh, course, which was a three year long course. So mm -hmm. yeah, that. So that was 2000, uh, that got done in which year? 2017. That was 2017, yeah. 17. So how many so, more girls from Udaipur got inspired by you and, and told her parents, see, she's moved to Mumbai, I'm going to do it as well. I think a lot many, in fact, uh, I always, whenever I come back to uh, Udaipur, when I move from here, the, the trend of entire wedding planning and what event management is all about was never really there. You know, it was always a question, ki kya kaam hoga wahan ja ke. So uh, from that to now being here and coming back here, Udaipur being as one of the most, uh, you know, famous destination wedding center, I think the thought has totally changed. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure there's someone, at least even if there's one person looking up, uh, you know, to me and joining just the course, I think that's, that's, that's enough for me. So yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's, I think it's really important. It's these kind of stories that give a lot of other people that strength and momentum that you know, let, let us also give it a shot, you know, so yeah. you don't regret it later. Six years is, is a long time, uh, but uh, putting your studies and where you've got together, I think uh, it's it's something, a story that really should be uh, told, so to say. H how has the experience been working from home? I've never asked you this because I'm dreading that y'all will all tell me it's not good and I don't want y'all to stop working. 
<laughs> Honestly, you know, yes, in the start it was a little difficult to kind of manage. uh you know even the family is not used to of watching you work all the time because it's been a long time you've been home so they don't really know what kind of job is involved they they're not aware of your schedule they don't know you as a person anymore so in the start it was a little difficult and of course uh, with the kind of people we are we're always in the office out there talking to each other so coming back here sitting on this one table and you know trying to be out there was a little difficult in the start so i i'm sure you know about it the internet issues the the battery issues all of that can kept on coming in but i think now uh, honestly i'm very comfortable in the space it's kind of become a part of our schedule the way it was back in uh, office yes we we miss office i mean i can't really you know uh, justify what office is like but yeah i mean i think it, it it's good you know you wake up you know what to do you have a schedule to follow and it ends so i think it's been a pretty good experience now yeah yeah no and and i must uh, tell tell our listeners as well that what is really remarkable is how a lot of people like natasha have molded and i always keep telling this to my my team back in swaha or whether it's the students at the wedding school it is so so important to be able to adapt uh adapt to changing times adapt to things that you don't know you know it's so important to learn quickly gather it because you got to understand that it's just the way life is there is no choice and and i think uh, again something uh, natasha that you picked up so well whether it was switching from swaha into wedded where everything was so much more into knowledge and concept and wanting to get uh, people with a different mindset and a non wedding approach towards life uh, to come and talk i'm sure that was also a good experience uh, you know i i, mean, I think i've grown with that i think yeah, yes that's that's exactly uh, where i was coming to that uh, this a whole different space when you learn which was back in graduation time you know and uh, then you start working you're not used to of that knowledge perspective education perspective anymore you know you're always learning but the the entire idea is to keep going uh, as a career person you know but uh, when when it started i think it was so much more coming across so many faculties different views uh, you know how things would work understanding the future i think all that was something that i think we as a team have learned a lot out of it in fact as we know that the biggest industrialists who were there in our you know who we look up to were a part of it so that said a lot uh, about how the entire journey would be like so really yeah. glad that that it happened in fact yes yeah yeah and you were one of the major uh, you know you had the major role to play in in creating uh, and it, it really turned out to be such an amazing thing and you're right i was also equally surprised when uh we had industry stalwarts attending the sessions i think uh, uh content is the king um a lot of times uh, people are obliged to attend and this was one session where we had never extended an invitation to them directly telling them to support us we just right. spoke about knowledge and content really led them to keep coming back for every episode so um, of course there's always uh, there's so much more that can be done <laughs> there yeah. is no end end to it and and now with the wedding school you are actually getting to understand the the mindset of of the you know youngsters and every weekend we end up interacting with them how different uh, is it for you i mean you're you are as young as many of them who are now going to start their career uh, you probably started it earlier you were able to identify that i want to get into events once you started your journey with the institute you immediately identified i want to focus on weddings so not every youngster is unfortunately either getting the opportunity or is that clear in their mind that this is where i want to head um how was your experience and how much do you think there's a difference in the attitude of youngsters in 6 years i think uh, talking about how my experience back uh, you know 6 years back was honestly when i started when i thought of shifting back to mumbai the only thing i had in my mind i want to do something and i don't want to do a uh, you know a 9 to 6 job that was the only idea i was always the active kind of person so i knew i had to be somewhere on field and not uh, stuck to a desk but uh, uh, yes the first thing that I, i i remember was the the starting two years were not great you know you you got to you 
you got to be there especially when people don't know what you up to you know when when uh, you know back then we didn't have as many opportunities as we have right now you know i think our was the second batch uh, from any md so again not a lot of opportunities not a lot of people like you who we could look up to you know take understanding from understand how is it going to be like so there was there was a lot of uh, you know lack of knowledge out there i would say Mm-hmm. yes uh, i was uh, i was glad that i could actually make contacts you know that that thing happened but uh, yes there were a lot of times and i got demotivated for sure you know there were times when the family would tell you to come back and you know come because back. it's not out and uh, i was a studious person so of course it it went by that uh, why not just get back here and you know do some kind of course do an mba ca and you know put your life together so yeah that thought did came to mind but i think one suggestion that always went by was hold on to it because uh, this industry has so 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 much to give it to you that even you wouldn't understand how the growth happens like if today i have to think back 6 years back i don't know how am i here it, it just happened it time just got us here so yeah holding on to it is holding on to this industry the love for this is really something that you know we should just stay there you you know mm. careers made out of experiences so true uh, it's so important to just just hang in those first two years yeah. are are really tough and and once you are able to establish the fact to your family that i'm not heading back home so yeah. soon i have to give myself a fair chance but that's what happens i feel a lot of times uh, that that desire to get to that success point or the turning point in your career and that desire for it to happen to you soon is somewhere where you know the dream versus reality uh, difference comes in uh, and that really becomes a game changer uh, i also uh, uh, you know understand the fact that uh, like you a lot of youngsters have to um uh, do a lot of talking to their parents and this is something i've also been experiencing uh, uh with of course the the swaha team but also the last two years when i kept interacting with youngsters that it is not like everyone is blessed with uh, the same understanding and even if parents understand it's your relatives and neighbors who don't understand that we may not uh, uh you know be the outstanding uh lot in terms of the mba quintessential cs yes kind of scoring but you require a lot of brains <laughs> and you require a lot of uh, you know organized uh, skill set you require a lot of adaptability skill set there's so much more to us than many more people but unfortunately it it's just the way our industry is the minute you do anything connected to glamour it is just taken for granted ye to koi bhi kar le why don't you do something more serious so it's it's nice that you move beyond that and they see the lovely work that you are doing in fact um you know it from the time we started TWS that we were so excited because uh we like teaching and the free gyan which you all also keep getting sometimes you may not ask for it also but we just we just like to give it to you all <laughs> so i i think that that the entire urge of wanting to make sure that like you everyone else who's coming in but is very sure that they want to do weddings they should not invest their time in learning all of it rather focus on a chunk of it and i i i feel very happy that you are now going to be chatting with uh, huren who is actually done exactly that um, she focused on the chunk which is called weddings yes. and i i don't know if she's up there then we you can bring her on and i'll be happy to make a quick exit yes and for everyone here uh, sort of thanks for the wonderful compliments that you gave um i i think it really means a lot sir i i don't know if i'm the best mentor but i definitely feel uh, for the youngsters uh, a lot more than i can actually express in words and i'm i'm just uh, feel so so proud when when uh, you know the the younger lot who who not that i'm too old but still the the ones who are in the early 20s they are able to actually cope and compete with people who are in their 30s and they are able to actually learn and master so many things and put in their best and when you just become an inspiration or you're able to keep guiding them sort of i think uh, it it just gives you that much more satisfaction it it makes your time worthwhile because 
we all are going to make money we'll all make a name but making that name in a slower process which which can sustain for itself uh, a brand name which may not always need me but the brand name will survive without me that i think uh, if you have that as a motto and you selflessly just do things uh, let the brand grow on its own and you do your own thing i think sort of that is something i i really enjoy and thanks for your support always like minded people tend to work really well and and uh, it's it's just uh, the beautiful chemistry that that comes together you know when you have people who are ready for challenges people who don't focus too much on stress and oh my god i'm doing so much kind of stories and want to create magic i think deepak you've been a part of that and and we've loved it so much and um, anyone has questions we have huren who is an ex student of uh, TWS doing phenomenally well professionally and we have natasha who has like we have just understood a uh, couple of years of amazing experience i think um, um, experience of the school as much as of working uh, in the capacity of a planner having actually dealt with some of the best work that we did last season so feel free to pour in those questions for them and understand this line better or anything that you want to chat on deepak you can also do it and natasha you can invite to ren i'll i'll make a quick exit done ma'am done thank you so much for again and uh, yes uh, it's been a journey with you and we look forward to learning a lot it's just not me the entire team and all those people who we have on live here and uh, creating contributors hashtag that's that's been our aim so we hope we are able to give a little bit to what uh, this entire industry has to give us so thanks a lot absolutely